tilt right here and the pan and x-axis again did I really just build a freaking full motion control camera slider Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night No time to lose, one day, one step In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you If I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog, it is Wednesday, another day, another chance to push hard And the topic for this one is a short camera slider demonstration A short one, because it's insane Well, so let's get it, but before we get started, long goes out to all my subscribers Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video So it happened again, yet another day wasted, or invested, into this camera slider This thing is so not done yet, but check out the progress I wired up the drivers that I mentioned in my life Last video you know all sorts of updates, shout out to my boy Hyper Hector by the way, his recommendation right there, wired up with the Arduino Mega and two joysticks to control the axis and let me tell you <laughs> yet another thing, this power supply is not capable to deliver, it just can't do it. This thing is able to supply around 2.5 amp, oh my god it even, oh my god I'm stupid, my bad, my bad, I'm, li I'm stupid. It even says it right here, but these drivers they need so much more, well each motor needs 2 amps or something like that. But good thing I still have this thing laying around, so I probably need to order more of these power supplies. And this came with my CNC kit, never used it, you know, because I have bigger ones and these drivers aren't small necessarily, but just compared to these drivers. Anyways, so this thing delivers 6.8 amps. 24 volts. I was like pretty shocked when I found out that it's just not working. I was like it's probably the code and I seriously wasted a lot of time but nope it's this thing 100% but hey anyways I found a way to circumvent that. Currently all these drivers are disabled as you can see I'm able to move everything around but when I touch the joysticks well they will enable. Two of them are somewhat working but all three of them forget about it. So let's get right to it. Here we have the x-axis and here we have the pan and here we have the tilt again I'm still missing the profiles I might get them tomorrow something like that and I'm also waiting for a new filament I need to print a fairly big part for the middle and you know balancing the camera is yet another task ahead of me but enough talk let's get this joystick and let's check this out currently at 60 micro steps I think so that's the x-axis moving now let's get to the pan nope that's the pan right here it's kind of weird, I don't know why it's doing that, I seriously have no explanation for that, probably because both drivers get activated and I, well, at two motors at once, it's literally almost like dying, <laughs> it's insane, but check this out, there's the tilt right here, and the pan, and x-axis again. Did I really just build a freaking full motion control camera slider? Oh my god, I cannot believe this. Well, this is not done whatsoever, as I said, but you know, it is a step in the right direction, definitely. And again, drivers instantly get disabled. <laughs> this is so crazy. And they can go fairly fast. This is nothing. They can go like... This is insane, but I think like this is definitely not good. It's literally instant acceleration. So this can't be healthy for all the components that I used. But yes, that's the thing so far. It is an insane project. But the most difficult part is what comes next, because software will be probably insane to write. For the CNC I just use a GRBL software, but for this thing I would probably utilize the Excel stepper library, but I still need to do everything on my own. I probably have to get rid of these joysticks and I probably need to type in the stuff that I need because combining the joysticks with stepper library with the actual stepper library is n I don't know how to do this I literally wasted days a few months ago trying to figure that out you need to tell the stepper a numeric value basically a position which is like zero or minus thousand steps or five thousand steps and like it's kind of crazy to do with joysticks it's pretty much the same as sending stuff to the 
Wait a freaking second. The CMC uses GRBL, which uses G code, which is like this dollar stuff. Okay, that does make sense probably, but it's still 3x. Oh my god. This sounds completely insane nowadays. This is if I would use a GRBL software, I would need a laptop with me to control this thing all the time. So that's probably not a good idea. Ah, there is still so much work ahead of me when it gets to the slider. It's so hard to tell how to... Ugh. But at least the mechanical part is almost done. So that's something. So in one of my upcoming vlogs, I will try to balance this camera. This is a Sony A77. Oh my god, I want the new A. 7 Mark III, so bad, I freaking need it and I think I will go for it even before the computer plus the size bait is 2.4, no it's 2.0, oh my god, without taxes this is around 3000 euros, completely insane, <laughs> I want it so bad. I'm, se I'm seriously thinking about grabbing a bit of money from my safety rainy day fund, I'm seriously thinking about it. <sighs> But yeah, I'm completely brain dead, so that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I smashed nothing today. I'm so glad. No damage whatsoever, it's perfect. Hell yeah. Oh, it was so exhausting. Bang the bell like crap pa, to never miss camera slider updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>